This is the real Tom Rose, and we are um, solving a special triangle here. Now, whenever you have a, a right triangle with a height drawn inside it to create two more right triangles, all three of those triangles have similar measure. Right, so in this particular case, they tell us BCD has, the, the sine of BCD is one half. Right, that is a special triangle. When you have a sine of an angle of one half, that means that you're dealing with, and you need to have these memorized. Again, it makes this much faster. You can plug it into your calculator too, but this is gonna be a 30, um, 60, 90 triangle. And they'll have the side measures of one, one half, and root three over two, which is gonna come up in a second for us. But um, the following one I'm about to show you is true no matter what the measures of that angle are, um, which is, um, so I'll use the angles that we have. If this is 60 and this one is 90, that must mean that this one over here is 30 because the sum of all of those must be 180. But if this one is 30 and that one, the big one is 90, then this one must be 60, which means this little one over here must be 30, right? So we just showed that all three of these triangles, the little one on the left, the medium one on the right, and the total big outside one, they all have 30, 60, 90 measurements, which means they're all similar. So let's get rid of all that stuff that I just labeled on there. And you can just know, okay, those are all similar. And they have these side ratios. So we can use that to figure things out. So now we're told the outside is eight, right? The hypotenuse of the medium sized triangle is eight. So let's figure out the, uh, let's figure out the height of it. The height will be half of that, which is, um, which is four. And the base of it will be um, root three over two times eight, which will be um, eight root three over two is four root three. And we can figure out the left side of this because if we have, um, we need to divide by root three. So this will be four over root three. And what we actually want to do now is calculate the ratio of the areas. We want the area of the left triangle over the area of the right triangle, which is equal to 1 half um, base left times height left over 1 half uh, base right times height right. You can already see that the, uh, some, that the 1 halves are going to cancel out, so I'm not going to carry those around. But let's plug in um, base left, which is 4 over root 3 times the height of the left triangle, which is four. All of that over the base of the right triangle, which is four root three, times the height of the right triangle, which is four. And some more stuff is gonna cancel out. We've got a couple of fours. And what you're left with is one over root three over root three, which is equal to one over root three times root three which equals one over three, which is the fifth answer choice.